Okay, uh, tinning a solder tip. Uh, some uh, viewers watching my review of these uh, butane soldering irons, and uh, she was wondering how to tin a tip. Uh, if you leave a soldering iron long enough, eventually you get these sort of oxides and corrosion, and uh, it prevents really good heat transfer from the uh, tip to the solder. Uh, it's a very easy problem to resolve. Uh, you need a, a sponge. It's usually made of cellulose. Um, this is a special sponge which comes from my more expensive soldering station, but you can simply just go to the uh, uh, supermarket and buy a normal cellulose sponge. Uh, this vendor cut a few um, ridges into it, uh, which helps uh, cleaning it. Uh, and it's really, really simple. You just simply uh, turn the uh, soldering iron on and uh, wipe the tip on the uh, sponge. Yeah, the sponge is uh, wet. It's a damp sponge with water in it, of course. Um, Okay, so the uh, solder is probably melted, and you just draw it along, and you can see it gets nice and shiny all of a sudden. Um, and then eventually you get to the point where uh, there's even the tip here, there's still a little black area, and you have to buy a, a special material called uh, tinning compound. And I'll insert a picture of it here, and I'll just show you what it comes in. It's a little tin. I actually have mine fastened to a, a, a soldering iron, uh, which you know, uses it, and... Uh, you simply um, take the tip and uh, you roll it into this material and I think it actually has a tin in it it bears the tin onto the tip uh, which will restore it and uh, once you do that uh, the tip will be nice and shiny and uh, you then just wipe it on the sponge again and uh, you're good to go And now you look at the tip, and it's wonderfully shiny all the way around.